What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Well Burn Shenanigans. Back with the shenanigans once again. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dia. We are back with another funny, crazy, whatever reaction video you guys sent us today. We're headed into, it looks like, another comedian. You guys been on the roll with the comedian side. We rolling. Who is today? Roy Wood Jr. I don't even know who this is. Oh, I don't know Roy oh, Wood Jr. Is going... it like a... Oh, it'll show him one. It's called Ordering Tacos and Getting Pizza. Huh? Ordering, ordering tacos and getting pizza. Ordering tacos that is a very greasy situation. Very greasy. I remember I used to indulge and stuff like that. You just had pizza. But I didn't have tacos with it. Suck at relationships. When you suck at relationships, you don't want to see people out having a good time. I don't like that. I, you ever been on a date so bad the girl makes you drop her off at another guy's house? You ever been through that? Hey. Wow. Who knows pain? <laughs> just me. I'm the only one. My last relationship, this is a true story. I'm not making this up. I broke up with this girl. The night we break up, she calls me at 3 o'clock in the morning faking her own suicide because she can't deal with it. She's literally calling me, shaking sleeping pills into the phone. See? You hear that, Roy? Huh? I'm going to sleep because you don't love me. Nobody loves me. I'm, I'm going to sleep forever. And she hangs up and start sending text messages every 30 minutes to let me know when she had taken a few more pills. Which was pissing me off because I was over my text limit for the month. You know, so I'm trying to block them. I'm, I don't need no suicide update. I don't need you checking in every 10 minutes. She, every 20 minutes, she's sending me a text. 14 pills, 22 pills. Forget the, forget the suicide, the bill. I just took sleeping pills, Roy. Is. Aren't you gonna say something? Yes. Why the hell aren't you sleep yet? <laughs> How long does it take 33 sleeping pills to kick in? And I don't want y'all to think that I condone suicide, but man, you think if you're gonna kill yourself, the least you can do is get name brand pills that are effective and work fast. <laughs> the last day on earth, spoil yourself. Get the good stuff. What are you saving money for? Write a check. You won't be here when the check bounces. <laughs> I want a kid. I think I'll be a decent dad. <laughs> I've never heard of Mediocre, some uh, enough alcohol for me and the kid. I'll raise a decent child. I'm gonna adopt a kid though. I don't, I don't wanna start having a family the natural way up front. I'm gonna adopt a kid. I'm gonna adopt a kid and I'm gonna tell him that his daddy hates his guts. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm gonna do this. For the first 18 years of the kid's life, I'm gonna adopt this kid every Christmas, every birthday, every major holiday, I'm gonna remind that kid of how much his daddy hates him. Your daddy doesn't love you. Your daddy didn't give you a gift. Your daddy hates your guts. And I'm not doing that to emotionally traumatize the child. I'm doing it to make him a better rapper because I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where he was going. Yeah, I have you heard of a rapper that came from a two-parent home? You have to... <laughs> since Will Smith? Name one since Will Smith. That hadn't been a decent rapper. You never heard that rap on the radio. I love my mom and daddy, then I go sell dope. You never heard that. <laughs> Stupid. Tell you a little bit about me real quick. Um, I got kicked out of a career day last year. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. This really happened. I got nice. escorted off the property for telling the truth. All over the world they have career day with these people with better jobs than your parents come and talk to you. You can be whatever you want to be for as long as you work hard and stick to it and, and eat your vegetables and go to church. That's not true. Why would you tell people that? <laughs> Everybody's not going to be successful. Somebody has to make the pizzas. And that's what y'all need to understand. I mean, this, this, this is earth. Everybody can't have a good job. We need failures. They provide hamburgers and lap dances, and I like those. Those are important services. Oh my God. Somebody has to fail. I hope it's none of your kids, but statistically speaking, it probably will be. That's the truth of the matter. But you meet somebody that's got a bad job, don't give them grief, leave them alone. These people who work at these burger places and they serve you hamburgers and french fries and stuff, leave them alone. Whatever they put in the bag, eat that. <laughs> that's what they wanted you to have. You go to a fast food place at three o'clock in the morning, you place an order, that is a suggestion. <laughs> to give you what you, I went to a taco place and I got three pizzas. I didn't say anything. 
to anybody. I went back, I said, thank you. I said, I appreciate that, Taco Psychic. Where did he go that they gave him that? I was at a place one night, this is a true story, I was at a place, this black dude comes in, he orders a six piece chicken nugget, but it's only five nuggets in the box. Oh, this dude had a fit right there on the spot. Swore it was racism, turned into Nelson Mandela right there at the counter, just hollering and screaming, hell no, these white folks back there eating our niggas. I kill every white person. And I don't know how it is where you live, but in America, if a black person thinks something is racist, he automatically pulls other black people around him into the incident. I don't even know this dude. Not my burger getting spit in, because they think I'm down with Mandela. I don't even know Mandela. He pays it back and forth. What we gonna do about this shit, dog? I kill one of these people. <laughs> this is a conspiracy by the skinhead and the Nazis to keep black people from getting deep fried pieces of chicken. I will kill every white person back there. If I don't get my other piece of chicken, I will come over this counter and I'm trying to explain to him, man, chill out. You're gonna get us both killed. It's not racism. It's not racism. You go to a fast food place at three in the morning, you ask for six chicken nuggets. It's a pretty good chance that the cook can't count to six. You should have ordered a four and a two. That's a yeah, math joke. I want to know why he was that they gave him pizza instead of tacos. Like, just, what restaurant was that? He just accepted it. He said. That's true. Look, no, because we've had times where we're like, if we're going out of town or something like that, and we go get some food like at 12. 12 to 3, let's just say that window, 12 to 3 in the morning. They are so nice. The workers, like, that work night shifts, usually yeah, nice be coming through there. they're the nicest workers ever. Only people that come through that, like, 12 to 3 is high and high. But and I'm drunk. seeing, like, they're, it's like, either. so nice. Remember when we went to In-N-Out and, and Gorman? It was, like, 2 in the morning. They were just so nice. They gave us free stuff. And it Only people like... coming through at that time is drunkies and munchies. That's it. And travelers. That was the happiest people on earth. I would love to work the night shift at a food. That's all that's walking through there. A high person comes through the driveway, all they worried about is they food. They ain't worried about nothing. You can mess up a high person order. They don't care. One patty missing, they gonna eat it. You drunk person, they hungry. That's all they there for. I just feel like night shift people are always nicer. I mean, there is good day shift ones, but like, I don't know. I just feel like they're just... He's still... That's a good one. He said, you need to take some better pills. They got the generic. You want to go out he of the He said, bank. spoil yourself. He said, if you're going to leave, spoil yourself and buy the right ones. Like, what? But why is that true, though? With the statement he made about black people, when you're around other black people, why they always got to include somebody? Like, I, I hate it. I can't stand a, hey, bro, you, you feel where I'm coming from, right? No, I don't. I actually don't. Like, I really don't. Don't add me in your category. Like, <laughs> I really don't feel where you're coming from. They're like, going to freaking... Cannot... They wasn't even going to do nothing to your food, but now that you're associating with him, now they're going to fuck up They're going to look at you and include you, and they're like, you, yeah. I, I didn't go through that, bro. I, my burger Be was fine. Be in the back like, like, like you, that, you, I don't you feel know, this? Yeah. I, I don't feel nothing. They, they didn't do nothing bad to me. They like, gave me I, my order. <laughs> like, you tripping. Don't include me in nothing. I can't stand that you feel me. I've never, you know, a fun fact, I've never been or had a career day. Me either. Where do they do that at? Is that only private schools or something? Oh, because um, I don't know. In the know. hood, they are not All no the schools day. I've been to never in did the career hood, day. They are, look, I was raised in the hood. They like, didn't do in my day. early stages, elementary, I was raised in the hood. And then a little bit of junior high. Then I moved to the suburbs, right? Well, my parents moved to the suburbs. I moved with them. What I'm saying is, in the hood, you can't have no career day. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Like he said, first off, if it's career day. We bring in fathers, right? They know me, know they leave the mothers out. I guess mothers didn't have jobs. I guess it wasn't mother career. They're homemakers. Though. So even if you did, don't come for me, y'all. I'm just speaking facts. Some of them don't got fathers that's coming, so they not gonna have a career day to talk about. And then the ones that do, who you bringing? I thought. I mean, the drug dealer ain't gonna count because some of them. I thought that. career day was when people that had actual like career careers like volunteer to come to the school and talk no. i didn't know career day was when your parents and to come and tell you about their job i'm like i think i'm like wait wait wait, wait. what's for career day and oh, my dad didn't show up he ain't been in my life in a couple of years and then you got the ones that dad do show up then you got the comparison of the jobs like you got the janitor then you got the man that's the lawyer now they say yo daddy now he getting he getting talked about on the research playground yo daddy cleaning toilets all day like <laughs> and my dad out here getting people out of jail see now you started a or whole putting people in jail. now you got little timmy out there getting stumped out in the sandbox because he just said something about somebody, daddy. Keep career day away from kids. It's good. It it be look. 
It starts something. You know in the hood everybody roasted? You getting roasted now. I'm glad my dad didn't show career day. Because back in the day, my dad probably threw 10 jobs. Like, we ain't doing this. Dad, you just had one last week. Now you in a new one. We got to settle down somewhere. Like, oh, we got to get somewhere in life. Like, you're not about to come to there. I worked at Taco Bell last week, but this week I'm getting it together. Like, my dad is not coming here giving a speech. I'm just I playing. think they should do college my dad had My dad like, had a good job. What co- like different colleges? My dad worked for the railroad. Not I'm just playing. Careers. Um, but it's just saying you got you got you got people in and out of jobs. You know you got that kid that speak up when his dad come in there and say yeah I do that. He come like dad you in and out of jobs. You stop lying. You know there what I'm saying? Some kids that speak you up. gotta be careful on career day. Career day can be very crucial. That's why I said I feel like they should have like different people volunteer if they want to to come and be like oh hey like I'm a lawyer I'm a police officer I'm a firefighter I'm like something like that's career. Yeah, you gotta be careful out here in these streets. You gotta be careful with career day. Just pump your brakes. Because it might start. Timmy might be getting stumped out right now on the playground. It is. I'm telling you. Really? <clears throat> Just. But anyways, pump. have you guys ever heard of this comedian? I personally never have. I actually really like him, but. I love him. He's I don't funny. love him. I like him. I like him. I, I need to see something else. He was close. You can't, it's hard when you have, like, Bill Burr up there, Tosh.0. Like, it's hard when you have all those up there as our favorites. And then, like, I feel like we need another type of like sign up for him but he was good i don't i'm trying to think if i ever had a girl do anything like that like that a whole i'm like, I'm like hell not sad how about no i don't think so i'm glad i didn't actually that's kind of scary i had a a, a guy do that to me I'm, like, i should have used that i wish i had that line when i was macking i would have used it what on some girls like oh you're gonna leave me i've had that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i think i've had like at least two i bet you have they didn't do it Obviously, they probably like, still alive. I mean, they, they are alive. I'm just saying, like, they'll be like, "Oh, if I can't have you, nobody will." Oh, yeah, I heard that line before. That's that. That's that. Line. Or like, um, I don't have less, like. That's a big that's line, like, though. Like that, that, that line right there is serious. Like, if I've not, had it. that's that right there is like murder suicide line. Like that line right there is like, if nobody, can, that means he's telling you, you gonna die and he gonna die and I'm gonna die too because ain't nobody gonna have you. No, I wasn't part I of it. I hope they ain't alive no more. You said they still alive. They telling you that. I can die. I, my we life were, is in jeopardy. That was like a long time ago, young at that. You, you know, back know. then, when you're young, you're just Some so people don't love. forget. Like, I can't live without I can't you. Even, I'll never move on. I like, can't believe you know, lay that on the table before even. Like, the lines that, you know, they used to use. You could have said that before we got married. Boy. You put my life in jeopardy every day now. Every day I leave this house, that person could be out there. Just no type of like, respect for me. Like they're I not could, worried about you. God, no, they I, ain't worried about me. God, if I come up missing and some type of weird thing, and I'm not recording no more, please go check on these exes that she was talking about. Please. Go check I said it was like guys. one or two, and I, it was like I wasn't like I was young as heck. I can't believe my life is in jeopardy. Stop. 